Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a list in hand because I have a lot to do today and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I attempt to get it all done and I am saying attempt to get it all done because this one is massive. I do have a chicken salad recipe I'm gonna share with you guys and some other snacks because I'm packing our beach bags. We are leaving tomorrow morning to head to the beach for the weekend. We're not staying over, we live pretty close to the beach so we're making two day trips and we will do a hotel one in I think it's two weeks or three weeks and I'll pack for that on camera and bring you guys along for that as well. But I'm gonna show you all of the crap from the beach bag and everything that I take, all the tips and tricks to make all the summer fun a lot easier. I did mention the chicken salad. I have a really yummy s'more thing I'm gonna show you guys. But before I go anywhere, it's gonna be a long weekend. I don't wanna be cleaning my house when I return so I have to get my cleaning projects knocked out. That way when we come home, we can relax, get our stuff ready for the next day, and not worry about cleaning this house. Sounds good, stick around because I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First stop is actually in my bedroom because I'm going to strip down my bed, clean the sheets, clean the comforter, and get that whole thing set back up for the weekend ahead. And I did wanna to talk to you guys about Milani sheets. I have mentioned them on my channel before, they, they are the sheets I've bought for years off Amazon because they have such high reviews and they are deep pocket and they fit my crazy thick mattress. Well, Milani reached out to me and I do have a extra deep sheet set to talk to you guys about. And of course, they gave me a promo code for you guys. It is right here on the screen, but it is my Milani 47 and I will have a link in the description box below straight to this set of sheets. Tons of colors, machine washable, machine dryable, all of the fun stuff. I have never had a problem with these sheets and I have used Milani sheets for probably a good four years now. If not more than that, you guys have seen them all over my channel and I am so thankful that they did sponsor this portion of the video. I love their products and I know you will too, so don't forget to check them out down below. Just so you know, you're getting the right company, Milani Fine Linens. These are the extra deep, of course. My bed, I have never purchased the extra deep. I've only purchased the normal queen, and they do fit my thick bed. I'll show you in a minute, but these are also the light gray if you want that color. But they have this beautiful detailing. That right there is the two pillowcases, and then it has the top sheet as well as tucked in here is the fitted sheet and I need to get these washed real quick before putting them on my bed. But for reference, when I say I have a thick bed, I have a very thick bed. My top is all the way up here and down here is to the bottom. So that for reference is my monster of a bed. I forgot how big it is. I think it's like 18 or 19 inches, it's huge. Forgot to show you guys the back of the package so you know the material. It is 100% brushed microfiber. And right here it does say cold water, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. All of the cleaning stuff is right here for you guys. Off we go to the laundry room, but I do wanna say again and remind you guys on my channel, I do not do sponsored content unless I truly believe in the product and or the brand. Otherwise, I would not share it with you guys. It will always be my 100% truthful opinion, sponsored or not and I cannot say enough good things about this sheet brand. I really can't. So, so happy because this is way up under there. So it will stay on. I don't have to worry about rolling in the middle of the night and it popping off. It's just, I'm so happy right now with these. And the bed is kitten approved. He wouldn't leave me alone the whole time I was making it. So that's fine. He loves it. And now off to more cleaning. 
Moving on to my cooktop. Yes, it has a haze over it. That is actually easy off that's been sitting on here for about 12, maybe 13 hours now. Every now and then I do this, especially if my husband cooked the night before. I love the man to death and I'm very grateful that he helps cook, but he always messes up the cooktop. So this I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off and clean. I was gonna start cleaning, but that blade is atrocious. So I'm gonna switch out the blade real quick. My scraper actually came in a two pack and there's plenty more blades in here. So that's what I'm gonna switch this out with real quick. Much better. Now we can clean. to the beach both days this weekend I'm kind of treating it like we're going away so that is the protocol I'm doing on my house is the stuff that I do before I leave for vacation and I'm not gonna be home for a couple days one is actually cleaning the bathroom like look at my kids have done to this ignore the Walmart bag though that was me but all of their toys are everywhere I need to rinse down the sink a little bit I'm going to scrub the toilet I don't really worry about scrubbing the shower that was done I think like four days ago so I'm not really gonna worry about that, but one main thing I do is make sure to take out the trash in both bathrooms and the house before we leave. This can was actually emptied last night because it was trash night and no one put a bag back in, of course. So that's pretty much all I gotta do right now is just put a fresh bag back in. This mess is typical, although I really don't know why there's a regular cup in here because they don't play with those in the tub, but like this stuff. And this goes in my oldest drawer. This is how I have all of them organized down here in case you guys haven't seen it in a long time. They have their own drawers full of stuff. So like Brianna, this is her headband for when she washes her face. We need to go through her drawer because it's heaping, but this is where all their stuff goes. Then after bath time, I tend to dry this stuff out and I put it in this big cup because this is what I rinse their hair with and what they play with in the water when they're in the bath and I use it to store all of these little itty bitty pieces. I'll just load them up in there and then it stands, hold on. Yeah, and then it stands right down here and that's where I store that. This big old thing never fits so we just kind of lay him right there. And then aside from taking that cup out with me, the only thing I will do is scrub down that toilet and obviously down there cause that is disgusting gotta love boys and then wipe this down and clean the mirror but you guys have seen me do that a thousand times so I'm not really worried about that Ooh, and there's bathing suits I gotta pack I just threw those two bathing suits up here because this is my laundry I did last night I had to go all around the house and find everybody's bathing suits and all of the beach towels that were everywhere and wash them so I can get them folded today and ready to pack now let's talk about the beach towels I have two ways I actually fold the beach towels when I throw them in our bag because then they don't come undone and it's as space saving as I could get with this kind of towel. And that's this rolled up option, which I showed you guys. And then the same way I fold my leggings, you kind of just like fold it up and then pop it in here and it holds it tight too. But this is still pretty wide and this takes up a lot of space. Everywhere I see right now is people with the microfiber, micro cloth, whatever you want to call them, beach towels. Well, I gave in and I'm trying out two actually. I haven't washed these yet, that's why I left this on it so I remember. But I've got this one off of Amazon and this one out of Walmart. So I wanna give them a try and see, you know, for space saving because, I mean, that really is this one, best of all, space saving. The thing about these that's really catching my attention, if you've ever gone to the pool or the beach with these and they've gotten wet, these do not dry very quickly at all. These both claim to be very quick dry, sand friendly, where the sand's not gonna stick to it the way it does to these. I will give back on that after I take these to the beach. 
But if you look, these also have these little pockets. This one has one too, I took the tag off already. But they have these little pockets too where you can put your keys or something in them. So I do like that as well. But hold on, I'll open these so you can see them. I didn't want to unfold one of the other two, so I just grabbed one that matches, it's just different color. For reference, I am five foot two, and let me like, right at five foot two. So for this towel, up at my head, it has about, about this far to the floor but it does completely cover me side to side. So this is this size towel. This little one in its carrying case, which is full of holes. This is like, it's not going to hold it in there and make the stink gross. This is this towel, which at my head, it's about this close to the floor. So it is a bigger towel, just slightly. And up here is where you can see that pocket on this one. And it is a zipper. It's a decent sized pocket. So you could fit a good amount in there. And then this one. Has this design on one side. Stripes on the other. This one is actually the biggest one out of all of them. Because I've got it held up way above my head. So that it's not touching the floor. So this is the biggest one out of all of them and it was cheaper than the other one from Amazon. It feels identical texture wise and everything. So I have a lot higher hopes for this one. And then up here is where its zipper is on this corner and it's just the same size pocket as the other one. I'm gonna wash both of those, pack them up and take them to the beach and then report back to you guys how they did with the sand, the water, fast drying, all of that and let you know if they're worth it or we just stick to normal beach towels. I have several beach bags. I've got two more out in the garage and one in my bedroom. This one right here is my absolute favorite. I got it off of Amazon last summer. It fits so much. Like this is deceiving, showing you guys it laying down. I have packed everything I needed in here before and still had room. This one's huge. This is a knockoff of the bog bag. As you could tell, it doesn't have anything right here, but it does just as good. This is where I've been storing all the catch-all stuff that we have for this year for the theme park and for summer and stuff. But this is also good. I mostly like this though if I don't have all of the kids going with me because I didn't get the large one because I think they're crazy. So this is just the medium. Sunscreen is an absolute must. I have this stuff all over different brands. I've got tons. I've got the spray kind in here, which yes, I know the spray kind is not that great, but I stay on top of my kids and I'm constantly spraying them. So it's fine. This I mostly use for faces, ears, necks, and shoulders, and all the things that are going to get really burned. This is mostly like to keep up with the back and arms and legs. I have sand buckets and shovels everywhere, but Gwen and Declan picked this one on my last trip to Dollar Tree this week because it actually has all of the designs of a castle. So we picked that up to go with us this time. Another thing my kids like is this bowl. It's like a catch and release or something. Hold on, there we go. Beach Aquarium catch and release. Got it off of Amazon. They literally scoop up with a net some little fish or crabs or anything like that. Put it in here, look at it for a little bit, and then we of course release them. We don't kill them or harm them in any way, but this is just fun to teach your kids about some sea life. I did have to get them new nets though because those did not survive after last summer. They went crazy and they are extendable and they used them like lightsabers and baseball bats and all kinds of crap on the beach. So I did have to buy new nets. Another good thing about this bag, it is 100% mesh, even the bottom. So if it gets sand in it or sandy items, you can just shake it all out before you put it in your car. And it does have back here, this is a waterproof pouch. So that's where I will stick that powder sock. So that way it doesn't get wet even though it's in a bag. As well as I like to bring extra hair ties and band-aids in here as well. Also, I bring a Ziploc baggie for my cell phone. That way if I want to go down by the water, I could just put it in here so it doesn't get ruined. For any sunscreen that comes in a tube like this, I do use a makeup brush to put it on and I will store it in a bag so that way if this falls outside the car in the sand, it's protected. I mean, obviously if we're putting it on and we drop it, that's different, but if the bag falls, we won't get a bunch of sand stuck to the bristles. Just to reference the size of this bag, there's already th uh, five, excuse me, five full-size beach towels and I still have all this space. I'm waiting for those to come out of the wash so I can fill it back up. 
And then this is an extra outfit for Gwen. I also have to still put in here. This is because she is potty trained, but she's not potty trained for like when she's sleeping. And she always falls asleep in the car seat on the way home from the beach. So if she's in dry clothes instead of wet clothes, she's less likely to get cold and pee in her car seat when she's napping. Massive bag, still has plenty of room. These are almost dry. I put them for 20 minutes on low in the dryer just to see if they'd be done. This one was almost completely dry. This one still needed probably another good 10 minutes, but they are quick drying, I will give them that. This thing still has a pocket here I'm not utilizing. This one's got the sunscreen and brush and clothes. It has more pockets all the way around the sucker here and here, another one back here, and two more on this side I'm not using. This is like a little clip that you can put stuff in there attached to both of these on both sides. And down in there, I've got all the towels on this side, the nets, the buckets, both kinds, more sunscreen is all in here, and the items I put in this water pouch. And look how much room I still have. This one is going to be our snack bag. I just had to take all this stuff out of it. These are our reusable water balloons. I love those. This is actually for the theme parks. This is for when we go to the hotel so I could do my headphones, phone, and watch all at once. I got that for cheap. And then I almost forgot I have to bring this. Declan wanted to try it. He saw it in the Dollar Tree. It's an inflatable kickboard. The other kids have boogie boards, so we're gonna let him attempt this. Now, as far as coolers go, we do have the big cooler and it's on wheels and we have the Yeti and all that crap. I'm not taking that for a day trip. I like to take this little collapsible one just because it's got more space in the car. It's easier to fit, but I could still get everything I need in here. It's got two places up top. It does have this part where you can open it to get into the inside from the top. It's just easier for me to pack this for a day trip, but because it doesn't have one of those little things to clean out the water, I don't like to actually put ice in here. So I'm gonna show you what I do instead. These are our water bottles for the day while we're out there at the beach. And I did put each of our initials on the tops as well as it's on the sticker in case you know things get messed up. But this way we each have our own bottle of water. I do bring a little thing of Mio if I have to, as well as I'll throw some juice boxes in there if I really want to. But these, I'm going to freeze. One note, this was not written with a Sharpie, like a normal Sharpie, because it will come off in the freezer. This right here is a Sharpie paint pen. That's the way I keep this on. First thing I like to use is these things, these reusable ice blocks. This keeps stuff actually really cold in there and it doesn't make a mess. Oh, and since I'm in the freezer, I will tell you, I do bring Uncrustables for the tiny ones just in case they refuse the chicken salad or whatever other sandwich I packed. I do pack Uncrustables as well. But I will freeze these and then I will take these out and throw them in our bag when they're frozen tomorrow morning and they will be solid blocks of ice, so that is our ice. But they are all stacked in there just like that, and all of five minutes at the beach, if this is a solid block of ice, it'll melt enough that you could start drinking it, so I'm not worried about freezing their water. The chicken salad. This is not my go-to chicken salad recipe. That is actually coming in my next What's For Dinner video. This is just my fast chicken salad. I've recently been getting into Duke's instead of Hellman's, but I just wanna know what you guys' preference is on this, because I'm really curious. And I'm going to be using canned chicken just to make it faster today, but normally I don't do this. I cook it from scratch, but again, I'll show you that in another video. I'm gonna put this together real quick, and then we eat it on croissants, and I'll show you how I take these to the beach too. Open up the package, and they are not pre-cut. So I will go through and I will pre-cut all of the croissants, but not cut them all the way through. I'm cutting them almost like a sub roll or a hot dog bun where they stay attached, and I'll do that to all of them. Now, if you didn't wanna use croissants, you can use normal bread, take the loaf down there. You can actually use Hawaiian rolls, open up the package, cut them across, and put them back in the package, and then just pack the entire thing of Hawaiian rolls down there, and they will be pre-cut in half as well. I always have plastic silverware on hand because the sheer amount of birthday parties and holiday things and stuff. So I will put two knives in here. That is for helping spread any of the stuff. And I put two forks in here because it will help stir up the chicken salad. Or if you want a little extra grip picking it up, you have both options. But I will literally tuck these into this container with the croissants. That way we have them. 
And I keep these in this plastic container, that way they don't get squished if I put them in like a Ziploc bag. This keeps these safer. And our chips of choice for the beach will always be the Pringles because you can open and close them instead of dealing with a bag. And then the sand blowing the bag and it's, it's, it's not a good idea. We like the closable option of this and that's why we bring Pringles for chips to go with lunch. Chicken salad can be made a bunch of different ways. I am adding the hard boiled eggs this time. I don't always do that. Sometimes I just leave it plain, but today I'm doing hard boiled eggs in mine, so I do need to get those started in this machine. If you saw my video where I went to Target and I got this little box that was already full of candy, we finally got through it. It took a couple weeks actually, but now I've cleaned it, dried it, and I'm going to refill it with a bunch of candy that I know the kids really like. Yes, you're going to see these big old bags. No, they're not eating all this in one day. I do have five children. This will be going to the beach with us for two days and I doubt they'll even finish it because they're gonna to be too busy playing in the water. This is just something quick and sweet. If they go, hey mom, I want something sweet, I can give them a Sour Patch Kid or a Swedish Fish and call it a day. The blue Sour Patch is my absolute favorite one. I don't even like these, but I love the blue Sour Patch. I asked for normal Swedish Fish and they transferred it out to this blue raspberry lemonade. I've never had these, neither have the kids, so we'll see how these go, but I'm gonna put these in this bottom corner. Skittles, one of my kids' absolute favorites. All five of them love the Skittles. Yes, I know all of this is full of red 40 and all the color dyes and blah, blah, blah. Moderation. I allow my kids to have this stuff, but I do moderate it. Just keep that in mind before the comment section goes crazy about how bad this is. Just, I moderate. Now hold on, hold on. I'm working here. Look right here. Little hands reaching out for all the candy. Yeah, that's what Declan's doing to me right now. Found two of these little packages from Easter that I had left over to fill that little center hole, but that is done and ready for this weekend. I'm gonna start assembling the chicken salad. You can do this a million different ways. This is just a very quick and easy one. I do have the hard boiled eggs already peeled. I'm not gonna use all six. And this is one stalk of celery that I've cut up and washed that's gonna get smaller. I'll show you in a minute. The chicken is the 12.5 ounce cans in the water. I do have two. I'm going to drain them real fast. There will be pieces of fat in here. I take those out and I also feel around for bones the same way I do with canned tuna. The machines are not perfect. There could be bone in here as well as the fat, so just run through it real quick with your hands. Depending on your texture preference, you can mix this in the bowl just like it is, but there's a lot of big, huge chunks in here. You could shred it with a fork. I'm a chicken salad chick girl. Theirs is like the very fine little pieces. That's why I got my food processor. Plus, this needs to be on a fine mince too, so I just put them in there together. In my food processor, I've got all the celery down here and then the chicken on the top, and I will only pulse it a few times because that chicken will fall apart very easily, so just be careful. And as always, easiest way to clean any mixer, food processor, anything, that's just water and some Dawn, and then turn on and let it clean itself. So far in the bowl is both cans of chicken, the celery, that is about a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon of dill relish, about a half a cup of whatever mayo, and a, about a tablespoon of whatever mustard you like. You can always do Dijon or any of that. This is two of the eggs. I'm gonna put them in there, fold it up, and then we'll move on. My food processor went a little far, so there's almost no texture left to mine, but I am gonna put a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit, some pepper, however much you like to taste, a tiny bit of garlic powder, Mom? just to you know, liven everything up. Hang on, baby. And then just a bit, not a lot, just like that just to give it like a what is that. Aside from the texture, because that's gonna bother me a little bit because it's too fine, but this is actually really good with what I did to it. You could probably go maybe one more egg in there. I might actually do that. Maybe a little more of the pickle. See, it's just a dill relish, but this is so good. And put it in your fridge because it's even better when it's sat in your fridge for a couple hours. I cheated. I took one of the croissants for tomorrow. It's fine, there's still plenty for tomorrow. But I want to taste it, I mean quality control. I gotta check it before I feed it to my entire family, right? But 
Aside from that, I gotta get back to packing the beach bags, but like I said, this is not my typical chicken salad recipe. That'll be coming in my next video, which is kind of like a get it all, not a get all done. It's a um, what's for dinner, so it's a bunch of different recipes, and I included a lunch in there, which is the chicken salad. Over to our snack bag in here, I've got both things of the Pringles. I've got this one with all of our bread. Right here, I do have some baby wipes, and this is a Target bag folded up for any of our trash that we make so we can collect it as we go. In here, we'll have these two ice packs, then it will have the layer of the water bottles, so keep that in mind as I'm showing you what I'm putting in here. On top of the water bottles, I am going to be throwing, this is some strawberries. I do still need to cut them up and put them in a different container and wash them, but we are bringing strawberries, a whole thing of them, this is the chicken salad from earlier, which I might actually take only half because that is a lot. And then I do also have some of these that I'm going to take out and scatter across the top of this. So that's why it looks so full right now because it's not done. And the candy is gonna go in this bag so it stays kind of cold so none of that melts and squishes together instead of going in there. <laughs> I love that both the bright pink bags are where all of our food and drinks are gonna be. That's just gonna make it really easy for the kids. 30 minutes on low was enough for both these. They are completely dry. Now I'm gonna try and, yeah, I folded that one right. Definitely didn't fold that one right though. Beach bags are ready to go. I do have three. If we were only driving out there for a couple hours, which we've done on more than one occasion, I would only need the one bag. I don't even really bring snack bags or anything like that when we go for just a couple hours because there's plenty of fast food restaurants and stuff along the way. But when we're going to make a day of it, I do need the snack bag and the cooler so we can bring lunch and drinks and everything to keep these kids happy. I will mention we do have one of those cover things, the little pavilions. That one is a pain and takes up a lot of space in the car. So I did recently get one of the little cabanas that fills with sand on the things, and it's still pretty large. It's still six foot coverage of everything. It's kind of tall. I already made sure it fit in my car and everything. But this I will be taking because we're gonna be out there for so many hours and I don't want anybody to get burnt. This is always a must. I do recommend the shade coverage no matter what, but especially if you're going with younger kids or babies, definitely take some kind of coverage with you, even if you're only going out there for a few hours because babies burn very easily, and my kids, you've seen them. They are straight Irish blood, especially Aiden, Declan, and Gwen. I don't know what the deal is, they burn. My husband burns really bad, I don't. Tristan and Brianna have my skin, so I don't worry about that, but my blondies, and especially my redhead little daughter, I need coverage for them. While I was on one of my Target runs getting the stuff we needed for the beach, I finally found these. They are the grillable brownies, and they're the s'more kind. I have not found these. I saw them on TikTok probably a good month and a half ago, and my Target just now started carrying them. I'm excited to try them. We're not grilling them tonight because we're not doing anything. We're doing pizza, it's Friday night. But we're gonna follow the oven instructions, and I'll let you know how these are, because I am like really, really excited. I have been for a while. That's the other thing I forgot I was gonna mention to you guys in this video because I just told you about the spring box. I ordered the spring box really, really late, so I got the summer one almost right on top of it. It arrived this week, and this one is better than the spring, I will say that. As with any box like this, you get a piece of paper with everything that could be in there, and then it shows you the crap you wish you would've got, to be completely honest. But I did get the Falsies mascara, haven't tried that yet. I love all of the NYX, if I can get it to focus. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I love the NYX lip stuff, any of them. They are my favorite for that. So I am excited to try this, but it is that red color. And I don't really wear red lipstick, but we'll try that out. This, I know nothing about, this number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. So I have to look that up and figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do with that. And then for nails, there was this little kit from Sally Henson. It's got three different brushes in there and some fake nails, which I kind of like that color, to be honest. And this whole box is only $7 and change. I think it's like $7.95 or something like that. So the nails alone are that price tag. So this is a lot of fun if you like to try random little beauty products. This is why I love the NYX lip line. No matter what it is, all of my lip glosses are from them that I wear almost in every single video you see because they live in my purse and in my bathroom. This is the Smooth Whip. Just look at the pigment and I barely put it on. I, it was just like a light little bit and look at that. Like I'm just telling you, 
their products are fantastic. I'm a slightly bit stained, so I look a little more pink, but there was no way I was leaving that on. I look like a crazy person. But I also will not be cooking dinner on the video tonight because see these little Walmart pizzas right here? It's Friday night and it's pizza night and in an effort to try and get my life together just a little, little bit, I did go back to using our dinner calendar and it is broken down for the entire month. Have we already broken it? Yes, and we are only a week into the month, but I'm trying. This entire night just went sideways. I had to go help my parents. They decided to buy a dining room table and it had to be put together and you know, that's my job is to put all their crap together. And I got home just in time to do the s'mores. So I'm gonna show you all of that. These look incredible. They smell even better than they look. I'm gonna cut it in just one second. I just now took it out of the oven, but I'm gonna cut it and show you guys what it looks like inside. It has the thinnest little brownie up under there. But so far, all that melted chocolate, that was delicious. Totally burned my mouth, but I don't care. That's worth it. <laughs> it was delicious. Uh, last place I left off as far as talking about cleaning, the few things I would do before going away out of town, and I'll do them tomorrow morning off camera, is make sure there's no dishes in my sink, clean out my dishwasher, and of course put something down my garbage disposal because bugs are attracted to whatever's left down there. And if I'm not gonna be here for a couple days, I don't want any of that to attract it. Well, as I said, we're coming back every day from the beach, but I'm treating this like I'm going out of town for good because I don't wanna clean this weekend. I wanna go to the beach, come home, sleep, go to the beach, come home, and sleep. So that's where I'm leaving that. Uh, if you have any questions about anything you saw in the beach bag or in the video, just let me know down below and I will do my best to tag everything and answer any questions that you've got. If you enjoyed this one, thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.